What's up, everybody? How you doing? Uh, I am doing good. We are fully recovered from COVID. Oh, my God. Man, having your health is <laughs> priceless. Uh, I'm in my car again. Just worked out. This is the only time that I have. Because once I go home, baby girl's been up since, like, 5 a.m. So, it's... I was like, let me just get my mama moody musing in. Uh, this week, I'm going to tell you that I am, my topic, I'm, I want to talk about, like, perspective, and I've been one of those people that literally, um, you ever be, like, you're positive, but you got a little bit of chicken little in you, like, the sky's falling, you know, like, like, you know, the glass is half full. I think it's like a optimistic, it's like, shoot, I'm glad to have a glass, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but I, you know, you're around everybody that's like, oh my God, because you know, it's true. There's inflation, there's this, there's that. So I was like, okay. And people, you know, rightfully so are mad at billionaires. They don't pay taxes. They don't do that. Whatever it is. Um, I also think it's okay to be like, yo, I want to be a millionaire. I just do. If I'm a millionaire, then one, I could buy a home in LA. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Jesus. Hello. They're like, oh, I just saw an article. They're like, the housing sales have been put, you know, are on a decline. Yeah, no, no shit. But that being said, you know, it's okay to say that. It's okay to say, I'd like to be wealthy. It's okay to say... I've been saying everything I touch turns to gold. That's it. It's my mantra. Everything I touch turns to gold. Uh, opportunity. Oh, this has my been my um, affirmation: joy, happiness, health, wealth, money, success, and opportunity come to me, my husband, and my family easily, effortlessly, often in abundance. So I've been saying that out loud. Have I? Or I've been journaling it. I don't know. Whatever. I've been saying it. I'm just trying to change my perspective. Because for years, and I'm pretty positive, but for years I've been like, ah, uh, yeah, uh, that's inner dialogue. But why not just change that inner dialogue? Like, it's not that easy. I've had a lot of 12-step work. But I'm saying, like, why not pick a different way to think about things? what a concept um so yeah uh and get out of my comfort zone i released my podcast it's on spotify orlando's the man and you know orlando's always talked about this unstuck get unstuck do we want to live our lives stuck because of fear because of perfectionism because of all that no being you know and orlando is one of those people that will like make you see what you need to see. Um, and I realize, like, I just need to, I think, it's like, they tell you to think big, right? So I think really big. But then there's steps to get to that really big, right? It's just little, you know, steps. Just, you know, make the content. Do what you want to do. I, I, I was having a conversation with somebody and it's like, they didn't, you know, they didn't know what they wanted to do. And I'm like, well, if you had all the money in the world, what would you do? If I had all the money in the world, if I had all the money in the world, besides, you know, helping people, um, I'd still do stand-up. I'd do stand-up. I would have my own sketch show. Um, I'd have my own podcast. Those are all things I'd still do. I would just live in a bigger home, and I would have a cleaning service, and somebody to do laundry, and on occasion, a chef. And somebody to go grocery shop. You know, just the stuff that's like, this takes a lot of my time. Um, but yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's Saturday. I just worked out, so I probably have some positive endorphins in my brain. So, uh, let's keep that going. I'm going to try and keep that going. Who knows what's going to happen next week. But let's just try and keep it going. Okay, bye.